Good morning, everyone. It's Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It is Friday morning, uh, February 16th. <laughs> I am so excited to be here with you for Fun Fold Friday, and I have yet another um, sneak peek. We're going to play with some designer series paper uh, that you can get right now early. As I mentioned yesterday, uh, when you join the Stampin' Up! family, you get to choose a whole month early um, items from a pre-order. So if we have a catalog starting next month, this month we would be able to order as demonstrators and get the stuff early and it's so fun uh, to be able to play with things. If you're joining me, uh, feel free to say hi. I love to know who's with me. Hi Krista, good morning. Yes, it's Fun Fold Friday. Um, so you get to order a whole month early, which is a great perk. Get your discount and also get celebration items, right, for demonstrators. Um, well, everybody gets celebration items right now, but the, the recruiting, the starter kit special, you hear me talk about it all the time because it is, it is the best deal that Stampin' Up! has, right? The starter kit is $135 in Canada. No shipping and no tax, to mo tax in most provinces, but there's zero shipping. I mean, the shipping alone, free shipping, it's huge, right? Like that is a huge deal in itself. But then you get to choose $165 worth of product and you only pay $135. Now, because it's celebration and we only have two more weeks left. Hi, good morning, Joy less than two weeks actually we only have 12 days left is it yes 16 no thir uh, we have 13 days left because it's a leap year it's uh, february 29th so we're going to talk about that just for a second i want to share with you what you get in that starter kit in case you knew about it and you're like i'm not sure what should i do um you get the glass mat studio which is the glass mat the um the silicone mat let me show you what that looks like so the glass mat, you guys hear me talk about it. It's been on my desk since December. <laughs> here, here it is right here. This is the glass mat. You get this, it's a studio because it's uh, the, the mat you get. And you also get a part of the studio, there's three parts. So you get that. You also get, hello France, good morning. You get this silicone mat here, which is like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. I have used it to mix colors in here in these little wells and they rinse out perfectly. I've used it to hold my little tiny die cut bits. Um, I called it a little charcuterie board <laughs> for stamping. And then you also get the third part of the trio is your chamois cloth, which is just like our chamois, but it's a little thinner and it's actually bigger and it's more like a cloth. So you can just dampen it and use it to clean your glass mat, um, your stamps, whatever you use your chamois for, you can also use this for. Hi Joyce, hello everybody that's popping in for Fun Fold Friday. So you can choose this trio, which for free, and but it's an $82.50 value, right? Like that's amazing, you're getting it for free. I had to buy it in December. <laughs> there was a narrow window where they offered it to us demonstrators, they had a, a a very small amount of, of these plates that we could purchase in December. And I paid $82.50 for mine, with my discount, of course. Um, so you can get it for free. If you don't want the Glass Mat Studio, your other choice is to add an extra $41 to your kit. So now instead of $165, you're getting to choose $206, right? $206 worth of product, you're only going to pay $135 plus no, no shipping. <laughs> I mean, it's the best deal. And if you do it today, then you're going to be able to shop for the next 13 days with your discount and get all of the other th things from celebration because we get to double dip. I think it's the best deal ever and it's why I always talk about it. Okay, a couple more things I want to mention to you. I have two big events coming up. Next Saturday, the 24th of February, if you're in the Calgary area, I am doing my uh, turn your old things into new things. Um, sale. So if you are sitting on a whole bunch of retired product at home, maybe you've got some time this weekend to put some prices on those things and put a unique sticker on them. Bring it to the sale. Let me know. It just costs $20 to have a table in my sale and then you get a credit for all of the stuff that you sell. So if you come back at the end of the sale, it's just from 10 until 12 on, on the 24th of February here in Calgary at the Dalhousie Community Center. And if you sell, say you sold $120 worth of product, you then get a shopping spree, okay? So you give me your order and then you get all the new. So you're turning your old things into new things. Now I have a few spots left for any vendors who want to come. Let me know. 
um, first come first serve and then uh, you can be in, in on that. And you're also going to earn a celebration items. This is why I'm doing it in February because I want to, you guys to get your celebration items and your new things for, for in exchange for your old things. All right. What else do I have to remind you about? <laughs> this is a big one too. My, my retreat is coming up March 8th, 9th and 10th. It's here in Calgary at the Best Western Hotel and it is a hoot you guys we have a we have a riot every single time we go I just have a few spots left last time it sold out this time there's some people that want to come but they got trips booked so they couldn't come so I have room for a few more people if you want to come and join us all right <laughs> let me know if you're interested in any of those things I just need to get that little bit of housekeeping out of the way and I would love to see you either at my sale or my um, retreat. Now, I do have a retreat to go option too for anyone across Canada. If you're in, if you think you're interested in a retreat to go box, I have a limited number of those that I'm going to be offering after the retreat is over. So just shoot me a message and just say I'm not going to ask you for payment right now, but I just want to kind of get a an idea of how many people I need or, or are interested in the retreat to go box so that I can be prepared. So let me know. Okay. And if you're interested, then I'll send you um, an invoice later for your payment. Okay. <laughs> I got all that off my chest. Okay. Let's get started on this card. I'm going to talk about some new sneak peeks here. I'm going to show you some sneak peeks of things that you can get right now in your starter kit. Let's flip the camera and get started. I'm sorry you can't be there too, France. I know you're one of the ladies that is going away on an awesome trip, and I think you're going to have a great time. There will be more retreats. I have another one in June and another one in October, so hopefully anyone that can't make it this time can make it to the next one. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Good morning, Christine from Winnipeg. Thank you for being here. Hi, Kathy from Illinois. All right, let's flip and turn my camera down. Okay. So maybe you caught a glimpse of this gorgeous paper I'm going to share with you today right here. Boop, there it is. Oh my gosh, you guys, this paper, let me bring it in. This is new paper. There's a new product coming. Um, this is online exclusive. So what Stampin' Up! is doing, they are introducing more products more often so that we don't have to wait for a new catalog publication, right? So I love that they're doing this. Online exclusives, we get to order them a, a month early as demonstrators. And there's a new uh, product suite and it's called Latte Love. Let me show you what the bundle looks like. This is the bundle. Now, I did check inventory status report today. The stamps are not available right now. I guess all of the um, demonstrators are excited about this one. Um, Susan says, I'd love to know what you do for your make and takes at your retreats. I have one in May and no idea on what to do. Well, you know what? I do the same thing that I do kind of here every week, every day, Monday to Friday. I come up with new ideas for them, cards for them, um, and they they get a goodie bag with supplies that they can use to do make and takes. They get a PDF with all of the instructions and measurements. Um, I usually do between four and six projects. They get pillow gifts every day. Like I love to surprise and delight my attendees. Okay, let's get back to this. This is Latte Love. Here we go. We've got a gorgeous photopolymer stamp set and you guessed it, there are dies. So if you love this one and you wanna put it in your starter kit, the only thing is you cannot get the stamp set right now until February 26th, but guess what? February 26th, you're still going to have three days to um, buy the starter kit, right? So I'll keep you in the loop. Okay, so look at the dies. You have dies to cut out the cups. This is like a mug. There's a, the, um, there's a mug and a cup. This is like the top, the aerial shot of the cup, which is this DSP right here. So you can cut out the... Um, the actual cup like that and you can also use the circle to cut out the centers see the centers love love that and when you run out of DSP like say you hold on to this set for a couple of years or whatever and you're like I don't have any more DSP you're gonna be able to make this card these cards because you're gonna have the stamps right so you see these images here they're like you know they match the paper so you're gonna be able to stamp that and cut it out with the circle and make your own custom custom latte cups right but the other parts of this amazing set is the um, coffee carafe the french press you've got your little espresso cups here look at the lid for the coffee coffee carafe oh my goodness 
Yeah, it's unavailable, Donna, because of the, the um, stamp set. I guess they ran out of stamp sets, but it's coming back February 26th, which is not that not that far off, right? So I'm showing it today because I want to show you what you can add to your starter kit today. You can add this paper, you can add the dies and then get your kit. You can use your demonstrator discount to get your um, stamps when they are back in stock, right? So if you, if you don't want to delay and you want to order that kit today, go right ahead. You can order this paper. Let me show you what it looks like. So we've got this pattern here with all of the coffee cups and aerial shot looking down at those beautiful latte designs. <laughs> The flip side of that one has the little, these look like coffee rings, right, on a table. <laughs> um, then we've got a beautiful plaid. Look at this. Easter's coming, guys. This would make great Easter paper. I love it, the plaid. The background of this one has the coffee beans. I love that. This one here has um, more my style. I like big coffee mugs. <laughs> We've got all of these ones here. We've got uh, Lost Lagoon, Calypso Coral, Lemon Lolly coming through, and then a pecan pie background. The flip side of that one, I'll hold it a little close, let the camera focus. We've got the tiny little espresso cups with the little spoons. Oh my goodness, it's so stinking cute. There we have our little splatters. I love it. And then the flip side of that one has Lost Lagoon stripes. Again, a nice design that you can use for anything. Check out this swirly design. I love it. It's like looking at the latte from above, zooming in on your cup, right? We've got Petal Pink coming through there and Pecan Pie. Oh, so nice. Look at this pattern, you guys. This is like the designs that they put in the latte cups, right? Oh my gosh. Love it. The hearts and the, and the swirly background. And then we have Calypso Coral pattern with um, the white coffee beans coming through here. The flip side of that one, we've got a nice swirly pattern with early espresso and pecan pie. Amazing paper. I love, love, love it. So you get 12 sheets, of course, like always, two sheets of each design. So here they are again. And then when you flip it over, we've got our colorful designs on this side. Oh my goodness. So I really wanted to play with this for today to show you what you can do with it it's not just for the latte love you can use this with other things right okay what else is coming this is a package of bling i got to take it out of the plastic so you can get a real appreciation for the gorgeousness of these new dots they are called adhesive back swirl dots can you see i'm trying to let the camera focus can you see the swirls on them so amazing right we're going to use those today Oh my goodness. Okay. So my product feature today, this week has been everyday details. You want to grab this amazing bundle because the stamps are amazing, of course. Um, but the dies, the dies are oh, so wonderful. There's one right here on my desk that I just got to put back in this one right here, the zigzaggy one. So all of the dies have these nice characteristic circle dots in them. I've never seen them like this before. We've had stitched uh, dies before, but this one is really, really cool with the dots. I'm loving it. So today we're going to make an explosion card, okay? And we're going to combine everyday details with that Latte Love paper, okay? So here we go. We're going to bring in, first thing we need is a piece. Oh, let me show you the card first. I'm going to show you what we're doing today. You guys want to see what we're doing? This is the card we're making today. We are making this explosion card. There's our coffee cup, or it could be tea, or it could be coffee, right? Whatever your heart desires. We're going to open up this ribbon. This is ribbon from the annual catalog. So don't forget about the annual catalog and watch this. This is where the magic happens. It explodes and take a look at the inside. Enjoy your day. Do you guys know where that one comes from? That's a free celebration set that you're going to want to get. When you spend $60, you get a whole list of things that you can choose from. I would recommend this one. It has Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day. I love you more. You can always use that one, right, for the people you love. How about a simple hello and enjoy your day? Oh my goodness, I love this stamp set. So I had to bring it in again today. So here we go. We're going to make this fun explosion card. You can also put a gift card, nestle that in here. So when they open it, it'll pop out. Like, what a fun card, right? Thank you, Krista. I'm happy you like this one. So let's get started. 
All right. First thing we're going to start off with is a piece of pecan pie cardstock. Now, when you order with me this week, as always, when you spend $60 between now and Sunday, the February 18th at midnight, that is the cutoff for these card kits. And then I prep them on Monday. That is my routine. So I just want to make sure you know what the deal is. Um, I'm going to send you all the cut pieces. Stay tuned to the very end of this video. I will do a little recap of the five cards that I featured this week. Let's raise up a little bit here. Okay, so we're going to take this pecan pie cardstock and we're gonna cut it to be eight by eight, okay? So let's open my trimmer. I've got little pieces of cardstock DSP in here. All right, eight by eight. So we'll need to extend out the arm to get that measurement. Here we go, eight by eight. So just lining that up here at the top and the side. And there's eight, so we cut off half an inch, and then we'll turn it, and we'll cut it at eight inches. Pretty easy, huh? Eight by eight. Then we're gonna score at four inches, okay, on both sides. So here we go, scoring using my light gray, my light gray scoring tool. So one score line, two score lines, and then we need one, just one diagonal score line. And it doesn't matter which way you do it. We're just going to turn it and it fits into the trimmer. I'm lining it up at the top and the bottom in the cutting track and I'm going to score. One diagonal score line all the way down. Okay. So we have one diagonal score line, none going this way. And then we've got our little cross in the middle. How easy is that, right? Okay, so we're going to set that aside for a second. I've got some designer series paper pieces. We've got these measure three quarters of an inch. <laughs> no, three quarter, three and three quarter by three and three quarter. I got this one here for the inside. I love, I just love the pattern. I didn't want to cut it up anymore. <laughs> um, and then we have this pattern and this pattern, we're actually going to take them. I'm going to actually cut them together because the paper trimmer is strong enough to cut through two pieces. I'm going to cut them on the diagonal. Now, remember I was telling you the other day, try not to, well, don't ever, I would never recommend cutting into a corner because it often will snag. So here I go. I'm just going to take these two pieces together, gently lay them onto my paper trimmer, onto the track. Make sure you keep them together. Then I'm going to lower down my cutting arm here and keeping good hold on my paper. I'm going to bring the cutting blade in and I'm going to pierce the cardstock in the middle. Okay, so this is going to cut down on that snagging option there <laughs> or, you know, the snagging uh, possibility. I don't want to enter the paper from the corner. So here we go. I cut from the middle out and the middle out and now I've got my wedges. Okay. So that's all we need from the paper trimmer. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring in my bone folder. We'll just move these pieces off to the side for a minute and we're going to deal with this piece. Okay. So we're going to trim, we're going to score. So let's fold on all these lines and score really, really well. And it comes together super easy, you guys. It's really, really fun to make these cards. And I haven't made one in a long time, an explosion card. It's fun to watch the recipient open an explosion card because something can pop out at them. It's just a really, really fun card to make and to receive. Okay, so now here's how the card goes together. These two diagonal pieces are going to come in together like this, okay? So these are gonna come in and you're gonna fold them down and it's going to make this nice, neat little square, okay? So then I'm gonna burnish the edges again. And now this is what we've got. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring in my pieces and just get my glue on all of them and we're gonna put these down and then we can move on to the rest of the card. Okay, so I've got my, my, my triangles here that I cut diagonally and I've got my square and we're just gonna bring in my liquid glue here and glue all these pieces down. This explosion card can be used, of course, with any of your product suites, your, your designer series paper, your matching card stock. So I am curious what you guys will make with this style of card, it's so fun. All right, so let's put on here as well. All right, we're gonna glue all of our designer series paper down. 
So let's start with the big square. I wanted this one to be right when the recipient opens the card. It's going to be at the one at the top. So the top left hand corner, it's going to go up here. I, I debated whether to use pecan pie or to use um, early espresso and I, I went with pecan pie. I'm, I was just like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. But I think, I mean, early espresso would have worked too. You could also pull in all the other colors that are in this designer series paper. We've got Calypso Coral. Um, that Lost Lagoon is in there as well. Love it. Okay, so we're going to put these. We're just going to like, you know, offset them a little bit. Put them like that. And this is another testament to how the whoops, the designer series paper just all coordinates, right? You can pick different different pieces, different patterns from the same package of paper and still get an amazing look. Okay. So Stampin' Up does this for us. They take all of the guesswork out so that we can then have all the fun, right? <laughs> okay, so there's, how easy was that? Got that part done. This part down here, I need to cut a piece of basic white. So I didn't do that before I went on camera. So let me grab my scrap here. And we're going to cut that to be the same as the top square, which is three and three quarter inches square. Do I have enough? Yes, I do on this scrap piece. Three and three quarter inches. Okay. So there's the piece for the bottom. Okay. So that's, we're just going to set that off to the side for a second. Uh, what else do I have? I have a piece of this DSP. So you're going to have leftover pieces. If you take your 12 by 12 paper and you cut it down at three and three quarters all the way, you get two pieces. You're going to get six of these, right? I have a piece of DSP, but you're going to have strips left, little pieces left over. Don't waste them. Use them to um, decorate. I know you guys won't, but you know, you can use it just to kind of pull the patterns through. So this is what I'm doing with this little piece here. It's just one inch by three and three quarters. And you guys, you guessed it, I'm sharing my pre-order products with you when you place an order with me because I appreciate you so much. So yes, you will get these pieces of designer series paper from me this week, ending at February 18th. So um, yeah, just let me know if you want these card kits, You or you can just go right ahead to my online store if you live in Canada. Now, I can only sell to Canadians, that is a Stampin' Up! rule, right? Um, so yeah, if you want to get all of these five kits this week, then I welcome you to place an order. Okay, so let's do some die cutting. I'm just going to set this off to the side and we're going to play with this piece right here and this scrap of Clipsal Coral. So when you get your card kits, this will not be done for you because you are expected to already own or you, perhaps you'll purchase. You will need the entire bundle to complete your cards, okay? So when you get your card kits, you're going to take your double circle die and you're going to cut the center of this DSP. So I'm going to cut the center of that. And I'm also going to take this uh, zigzaggy pattern. There's a lot of these cool patterns. You've got these two little strips here and they weren't quite long enough for me to do it on this little strip. So I chose this zigzaggy piece and I'm just going to lay it on here like this. And I'm going to grab some post-it notes and put this on make sure you got it centered okay so there's that one and we'll get the other one done and this one's probably more crucial that you really take your time to center it because you've got just um, three quarters of an inch in uh, width or height on that one okay so let's bring in my machine oh i didn't get that stuck down but good okay we'll, we'll deal with it when we get the machine let's grab my machine and we will cut these. All right. Much easier than you thought, Debbie. <laughs> Do you mean the card or the cutting? It is an easy card, actually. It's uh, it's a little deceiving, but it's probably one of the easier fun folds, right? I wish I could sell to the States, too. <laughs> I know. I hear you. <laughs> um, you guys, um, you know that I, I my friend Christine Bertram is from the U.S. I have um, my mentor, Rhonda Wade, is from the U.S. You can, you know... You can choose. Uh, both of those ladies are going to take care of you. Let me promise you that. Um, you can reach out to, you can go to stampinup.com and type in your country. 
select from the drop down menu on the left hand side, select your country, and then you can put in, I know in Canada, it's a postal code, find someone close to you. Um, if you're in Canada, you can reach out to me, of course, I will definitely get these kits to you. Um, but if you ha are in the States, you can choose a zip code and uh, find someone close to you if you want them to be close to you. Uh, most people do run an online portion of their business. So even if you're not close to that person, you can, um, you can still do business with them. Rhonda Wade is wonderful. Yes, R Susan, she is my mentor. She has taught me how to run my business. Oh my goodness. I, I am so grateful for her every single day. I am blessing. I'm blessed by her. And, and Christine is your girl. Debbie says, yep, absolutely. Find your favorites guys and they will take care of you. Absolutely. Okay. This check this out. So this double circle die, this is what it does. It does the outline of a ring of circles. Then, <laughs> then you also get this piece, which I'm going to save for another card, right? So you get both. So here's what I put together, right? I put one die on, but I got two different looks. So what we're going to do, uh, what I've already done, and to save time, I've already taken some scrap white paper and I've stamped the teacup on the white paper. I took the exact same die and I ran it through and I got my teacup and I already colored it just to save you time. Because I know you've watched me color a little bit this week. But I'll tell you the colors that I've used. I've used Lemon Lolly for my teacup. I used Calypso Coral for the flower. Lost Lagoon for the leaves. And then I outlined the whole entire image with Light Pool Party. So then, here's the fun part. We can take these and put them together like that. And it just looks so... It, it goes together, right? Like, I just love this look. And I'm going to keep this piece for another time. And I can use this as a background and maybe put another circle die. In fact... The Everyday Details dies has other smaller dies. We're going to use this one right now to do the greeting as well. See, they work together. I'm not surprised. Are you surprised that things work together? <laughs> Stampin' Up! Don't, knows what they're doing. Okay, so let's do that greeting. I forgot about doing that. Um, let's grab another little piece of scrap white. Here we go. We're going to use this piece. And we're going to stamp from the um, Everyday Details we're going to stamp this one here that says, wishing you so much joy on this special day. Special day could be anything. Could be their birthday, could be their wedding day, could be their graduation. There's lots of special days, right? So we're going to stamp that right up here on my piece of scrap. Boom. Okay. So here we go. We've got that little die, the smallest circle die right here. I'm going to grab that one. And we're going to run that through. It just fits here, but it will work. It's uh, in the set, so it's, it was designed to go with it. So I'm going to grab a little tiny washi tape here, a little strip, and we're going to hold that down. I mean, I could cut all the scrap paper off the edges. I could do that. And then, it, you know, I could fit it through my mini boss. So let's do that. Don't need the big boss. We need the mini boss now. So let's grab my mini boss, and we'll cut that one out. Okay. moved my mini boss. All right. So we're going to grab this guy. This is the, the boho blue. Again, you could put this in your starter kit guys. This would be, even if you have the big guy, the, you need the little guy cause it's so convenient. You, if you're going somewhere to craft with someone, maybe you're going to a retreat. This is a fantastic little one to put in your bag. Um, you can do everything with the little guy that you can do with the big guy, <laughs> except for the bigger, um, embossing folders and you know you, you have a three and a half inch width um, limitation that's all that's the only that's the only limitation from these from the big from the little guy. oh I'm so sorry sorry about that guys are you awake now <laughs> I know it's not morning for everyone that watches some of you it's afternoon sometimes it's the middle of the night for people I appreciate you all coming back okay so we've got our pieces let's bring in our card now for the inside, I'm going to stamp. Good morning, Marie. Thank you for being here with me. I'm going to stamp from Heartfelt Hellos. Oh, gosh, do you have this one yet? You've got to get this one. You got 13 more days to get this one, guys. This is an amazing stamp set for free with celebration. And I'm going to stamp. Enjoy your day. And we're going to bring in some coordinating ink. 
So I've got Calypso Coral here, and we're going to ink it up with Calypso Coral. You could use pecan pie, you could use early espresso, lots of colors would work. Okay, so press down, let the ink leave your stamp, go into your cardstock, boom, just like that. Close my ink pad, <laughs> and we're going to put this zigzaggy piece right here at the top just to tie in you know just to match everything and i'm just going to add glue like right in these center spots here okay so now this is going to go up here like so love this 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 would be a fun accent to any of your cards or scrapbook pages okay so there's that piece now we can go ahead Flip it over and we'll add our glue. I'm finishing the inside because when I go to close this one, I'm going to be tying ribbon in. I want you to see, I don't want to have to open and close it all the time, but I want you to see what it looks like on the inside. All right, so there's my bottom piece. You got lots of room here to sign and write a little greeting. Okay, so there we have it, the inside. Now let's close her up like that. This piece is going to go on here like so. And we're going to bring in dimensionals for all of these pieces here. So let's grab my dimensional sheets. Sheet, I should say. <laughs> all right, so we're going to put one on each corner. And let's see, the circle, I like to do three. I like to balance them out on the circle. Okay. But, okay, let's peel off all the backing, because you know me, I like to do all my stuff in batches. <laughs> put all the glue, put all the dimensionals, take all the backings off, and it helps. So I can actually bring in my silicone mat, because nothing's going to stick to the silicone. And you could put your things on your silicone mat, and then you know they're safe. All right, so what we want to do now is add the ribbon. So from the annual catalog, I'm going to use this... Um, it's called Satin Edge Ribbon. It's gold. It looks so fabulous. I thought it, this one would... There's other ribbons that you could choose, but I thought this one would be pretty today. So I'm going to use my glass mat studio down here, my glass mat, and I'm going to measure 20 inches. So I'm going to go 10 and then go back again, and I'm going to snip. There we go. So we've got 20 inches of ribbon. I'm going to bring in my tear and tape. Just grab a little strip just to anchor the ribbon down. And we're gonna put that across the front of my card like that. Now, here's a tip, don't put it on the back. I did that, I tried that, and then I was like, oh, my explosion card won't explode anymore because I've put too much glue in places that I didn't need it, right? So don't put glue on the back. <laughs> Take your ribbon and just kind of hang it over the card so you've got equal amounts coming down the bottom and press it onto, sorry if I'm giving you a weird view here, um, press it onto your tear and tape when you're happy with where, how it's sitting. Okay, there we go. So I wanted to have like equal amounts sticking out so I could tie my card. So now I'm gonna take my pieces with the dimensionals and we're gonna just put this on the front of my card like so. And when you're happy with the position, then press down. And then my teacup or my coffee cup is going to go in here like this. My latte cup it can be tea, it can be latte, it can be whatever you want. It can be espresso. It could be hot chocolate. There we go. Oh my goodness, I love it. So then this piece is going to go right here. And because everything is popped up, it's all on an even plane, I'm actually going to add glue to this one and keep it all this this card is thick because you've got lots of layers here that are all folded up so you don't want to add any more um thickness in my opinion you don't want to add any more thickness than you need to because we've got we've got it going good here <laughs> okay so there we've got our ribbon and you can tie so one last look we'll just open this up to see what the recipient looks get, uh, we'll see when they open it enjoy your day and all the pretty paper. And then we can close it up and tie our little bow on the side. I think the gold uh, ribbon looks really, really fun with this one. You could use the pecan pie ribbon from the uh, annual catalog, 
Um, you could also use the wavy trim. That would look really sharp. Anything goes. And there we go. We've got a nice little bow on the side of our card. And now let's bring in those beautiful little swirly dots, adhesive backed swirl dots. And we're going to add some of those because, you know, you put all the effort into making your card. You might as well add some more bling. So let's bring in, um, let's add one of these mocha color ones. We'll put that out here on the edge. Let's see right there. And we'll add this like vanilla color, color one with the swirl. I love that one. Let's put that one right there. And then this one right here we'll bring in. And where should we add that one? Let's put that one down, down here. Hmm. Yeah, I think it, I want to put it over here. <laughs> and you can add more if you want to. But there we have it, my friends. It's a, an explosion card of all kinds of fun new products and my feature of the week, which is Everyday Details. I hope I've convinced you to grab this one. This is an amazing bundle that I'm going to keep using. Don't forget, when you spend $60, you're going to get my card kits. Plus, you can choose whatever you want from Celebration. But I highly recommend this stamp set. I think if you don't have that one yet, you should add that one. Or any of the other gazillion choices. There's a lot of choices you can have. Let's go back a little bit and talk about the cards I've done. So here's a glimpse at the card kits I'll be prepping and sending to you on Monday if you place an order with me using this host code. The order has to have the host code. That's how I replenish my card stock, my embellishments, my ribbon, all of it, and envelopes. So it's very, very important that you use the host code. If you're not sure how to do that, I would definitely um, reach out to me and I will help you. Here's the card we did on Monday. So this was a fun fold. I don't normally do fun folds on Mondays, but... It was Global Design Project Challenge and um, LOD. Do I have the sheet? Yes, I do. Um, this was our challenge, was to case the designer. And the designer was LOD Ventru, And this was her card. So that was my addition for her card. Okay, so that was Monday. Tuesday, we jumped into a sketch challenge that I did with my team at my team meeting. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Yes, it was eight by eight. This this started as an eight by eight piece of pecan pie. Yeah. Um, yes, this was Tuesday, another sketch challenge using the softly stippled paper that you can get for free as a celebration item. Wednesday, we cased a card. Um, I talk about Rhonda Wade all the time and how she has given me so much guidance in my business. And one of the things that I love about being in her training group is the online creative conventions. This one I learned at her convention. It was designed by Erica Serwin. Isn't that so cool? With this poetic expressions background paper and the blue eggs. This would make a great Easter card too. And then yesterday was Thursday. I had to bring in, I was having a little bit of withdrawal from my favorite color combo, <laughs> my basic black and mill mambo. So Erica did this card as well, but she used different colors and I changed it up totally by using um, that new um, paper that's coming, the new um, zinnias, zinnia, flowering zinnia paper that's coming and the sequence that's also coming in the online exclusives. But you can also get this right now in your starter kit, right? So that was Thursday. And then today is what size is the inside piece of white on your cards? My, my favorite, Sue, for the inside piece, I use two and three quarters by four and a quarter. So I can get eight of these out of one sheet of um, cardstock. I take my cardstock, I cut it down the long end at four and a quarter, and then I turn it and I cut at two and three quarters and you'll have no wastage and you'll have eight pieces this size. Love, love, love that size. This is what I send you in your card kit, so it'll look like that. And it's way better to get eight, you get double. You get eight pieces instead of four, right? So that's my favorite. And then today, here we are. I'm gonna open it one more time. <laughs> this is our explosion box. I have not made one of these for a very long time. And I'm so excited to do this one today with some paper that you can also add to your starter kit today. And you can get creating with this gorgeous paper. I had a blast, you guys, playing with this bundle. I love offering bundles, bundle um, specials every week. And um, if you are in Canada, I would 
be so grateful to have your support to my business. Um, thank you so much for everybody that orders with me. I appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart. And um, if you want this one, just reach out and let me know. Um, you can go ahead and place your order with that host code. Or if you're having trouble, let me know. I can help you. And if you're interested in my sale next weekend, let me know about that too. Or my retreat on March 8th because time's a ticking. <laughs> All right. I wish you guys a great weekend here in Canada. I'm not sure in the U.S. if you have Family Day weekend this weekend or not. Or... Um, we have a holiday. It's it's a family day weekend, so Monday is a holiday. And then now all next week, my daughter's on reading week. So um, she's going to be here. Uh, so I'll spend some time with her. I'm excited. <laughs> one, I have one good thing about having your child in the same city as you going to university is that you can, you can sneak in some time with them, right? If she had gone far away, I'm being very selfish. <laughs> if she had gone far, far away, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have this time with her, but I'm so excited. So um, I wish you all a great weekend. I'll be back on Monday. I will still be, unless something changes, but I don't think so. I'll still be here all next week working. Um, I'll be just doing things maybe in the afternoon or the evenings with her. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions about anything. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you on Monday at 9 a.m. Mountain Time for my regular video time. Take care, everyone. Thanks for all the love and the support. Bye-bye.